Hi, this is MJ. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Justin, for helping me put this video together. And this is your daily oracle card reading for Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. And today we're going to talk with the cherubs. They are all about love and romance. So go ahead and find a comfortable place while I go ahead and shuffle these cards for you. And as I do, it's all in threes because three is very powerful in the spirit world. Okay, breaking the cards now. I'm placing them to my forehead, where my third eye is, asking the cherubs and spirits to help me clearly see everything and hear everything in this video. Also placing it to my lips, asking the cherubs and the spirits to give me all the perfect words for you, and then placing it to my heart, asking the cherubs and the spirits to give me everything that I need to tell you and tell you in a heartfelt way as I place the cards back down for you. And let's go ahead and center ourselves, taking three deep breaths. First breath, inhale. Hold it three seconds. Exhale. Second breath, inhale. Hold it three seconds. Exhale. And the third breath, inhale. Hold it three seconds. Exhale. All right. Now that we've got our centerness in place, let's go ahead and turn that card over and find out exactly what the cherubs are wanting us to know today. And it's about true love. I love it. You know, as I'm listening, as I'm feeling, and as I'm seeing, it's pretty self-explanatory. Few people truly understand what unconditional love really means. Real love is always unconditional. And when you can love a person completely without expecting anything from them, it is is unconditional love. In fact, you may not even expect love and attention from them in return. You are simply grateful to the universe for their presence in your life. And while people may behave in a very selfish way to survive, this does not serve you well where love is concerned. And if you don't instinctively feel like putting the other person before you, it is a relationship of convenience, not love. When you fall in true love, you generally care about the other person's happiness even more than your own and will go to any lengths to make them feel valued. But we all want others to behave the way we expect them to, and we want them to be more caring, more affectionate, more outgoing, smarter, ambitious, attentive, but all of these are expectations. And expectations are nothing but your requirements for loving someone, which is contrary to what true love is. Real love has no expectations. The focus is on you loving them, and that is enough for you. Love does not require possession and has no room for jealousy. It allows people to be free. It does not require holding on tightly and crushing that person's wings in an attempt to keep them close. True love does not want to own, but it wants to nurture. Now also, empathy is the ability to understand a situation from another person's point of view. Love has deep empathy. And if you truly love someone, the thought of hurting them will practically crush you. You can't bear the thought of them being sad or hurt. You want them to feel good and to be happy and to be prosperous. Now, true love is nothing but perfect teamwork. You need to know when to take control and when to fall back and allow your partner to take over. And when two people truly love each other, their strengths and their weaknesses come together and help them work like a team. And they know when to be quiet and when to say the things that are required to be said 
and their goal is to work together like a perfectly tuned instrument to achieve their goals. Now, many people think being in a relationship equals love, but sadly, that is not the case. Just because you are in a relationship does not necessarily mean there is true love between you two. If there is constant fighting, jealousy, possessiveness, or verbal, emotional, or physical abuse, that is not love. The angels, especially the cherubs, are making it very clear that we are all different. Even identical twins are not identical. We all have different experiences that shape our perception of the world. Real love does not consider other people wrong just for being different. When you truly love someone, you accept their differences. And true love always results in personal and spiritual growth. It is a natural process that is essential for getting closer to your true self. Every living thing needs to grow to survive. Plants, animals, human beings. It promotes natural growth that fills our life with happiness and fearlessness. So, when there is love, there's no ego. This is not about the fights, because every couple will fight, whether they are in love or not. It is about making up. It is about finding it hard to be apart from each other, no matter who is at fault. It is about fighting for each other, not against each other. And it's very important to have genuine respect for one another to sustain true love. Otherwise, you'll get judgmental and dissatisfied. Mutual respect can only develop from giving each other space for personal growth and never ever crossing the line, no matter what happens. Love heals. No matter how deeply you have been hurt, the power of true love can heal you and help you find happiness again. Love makes you feel safe and protected. You feel at peace with yourself and the world. When you are in love, you feel at home with your loved one, no matter where you are. So all of us here on this planet, as humans, we seek companionship and nothing but support from our partners. Lovers stay by each other's sides no matter what, through thick and thin for life. True love celebrates the good times and provides a shoulder to cry on during the challenging ones. You can only find true love when you are at peace with yourself. Because you can't find love or happiness by chasing people or emotionally blackmailing them to be with you. It comes when you are completely comfortable in your own skin and grateful for the little things in life. Remember, love is appreciation. Love is happiness. Love is giving. Anything other than that is not love. And if we all loved each other as we love ourselves, the world would be a much better place to live. And the cherubs love you. And they love that they gave you this message today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Justin, for helping me put this video together. And I will see you in another Daily Oracle Card reading tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.